I'm going to be bringing this meeting to start now. <laughs> Bear with me, this is my first time doing this, and I... You I got that. Yeah, okay. That's my first time doing this, so I'm trying. So we're just going to get started. So, first I'm going to start off with roll call. I skipped the slide, but just ignore that for right now. Uh, President McLaughlin. Here. Vice President Peterson is not here. Chief of Staff Ressinger. Uh, she, will, she will not be here. All right. Uh, Treasurer Geary? Here. Parliamentarian Adams? Here. DEI Chair Williams? Here. Communications Director Bradley? Here. Graphic Design Coordinator Pew? Uh, they got called into work. All right. Recording Secretary Steiner? Here. And me. <laughs> um, so that is that. We're going to move on to the approval of the minutes. So just looking at the screen here. Is there a motion to approve the minutes? Motion to approve. Oh, yeah, what's the difference? I'm so those? sorry, I do not remember names. Uh, Sienna Wraith. Thank you. Oh, I'm so sorry, take that back. I forgot to do uh, attendance with senators. <laughs> okay. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I just thought really that whenever I got to the senators, I was like, wait, I never said anyone's name. Uh, so I'll start with the talk. <laughs> not that important, guys. <laughs> uh, so, Senator Dixon? Here. Senator Wolf? Here. Senator Mahone? I did not. I was told that there was no excuse for my own. Uh, Senator Cybulski? Yeah. Senator Rape? Yeah. Senator Hayes? I was not told of an excuse for Senator Hayes. Senator Pickett? Here. Senator Carey? Here. Senator Sala? Here. Senator Richards? I was not given. Uh, Senator Mendoza? Here. Senator Puller? Palermo, sorry. Here. Um, Senator Osteen? Here. Senator Slaninka? Sorry about that. Um, they they have weeks. Alright. Um, Senator Pliska? Here. Senator Rangel? Here. Senator Mangus? Here. And then Vidor and Harris, yeah. And then Senators at Large, Rachel Brown, Alexis Fizzo, and then Ellie Walker Wintruba. Obviously cannot. Oh, Walker and Trubisky. Never mind. I'm sorry about that. Um, but now we're going to the approval of the minutes. Um, so, uh, would someone like to make a motion to approve the minutes? Um, <laughs> Senator Bolf? I can't. Don't remember where I forgot that. A second to the motion. All right. And with that, I think we. What? It's approved. Right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> thanks. Uh, next is the approval of the agenda. So, if there's no um, changes to the agenda, would someone like to make a motion to approve it? Ready a second to that motion? Oh, my God. <laughs> Alrighty, and on that note, the approval of the agenda is approved. We are now going to be going into our first open floor. So does anyone have anything for open floor? Hi. Um, I've been working with Senator Pickett all week. Um, we were hoping to open a committee for health and safety. Um, <clears throat> so if any of you have seen the newspapers everywhere with the front cover saying mold, um, in the dining hall, I wrote that, and there were three other news stations that picked up on it, and I did make a call to um, Allegheny County about it, and they opened an investigation and found multiple health code violations, two being severe. And um, in the article, it basically just entails that there's bugs in the cafeteria, um, they're not cleaning everything the way they should, like, it's just disgusting. and. Um, we both feel that it's not just the dining hall and there's other health and safety issues on campus that need to be um, brought up and talked about. Yeah. For me, I've been working with one of my close friends who works for The Globe, who writes articles about some students who have been harassed and who have been injured on campus, as the school is very very centered in downtown and they make it a very big deal that downtown is our campus, then why is there stories showing up about a track team member just running through 
downtown and getting his two front teeth knocked out? And why are there stories about girls trying to get into Lawrence and being having their boobs grabbed as they try to get in, yet apparently that doesn't count as sexual assault because it was over the shirt, so it's just harassment. And it's understandable. We live in a city and things are going to happen, but it's every week now where we are seeing stories in the paper about someone getting attacked or harassed, and it is promoted by Point Park that we have 24-7 campus patrol. And there are also violations to like safety codes, how there's an elevator, elevator four in Lawrence is past inspection, and one of the elevators in Thayer is past inspection. And then there are electrical fires happening in Thayer all the time, and the bathrooms aren't being cleaned regularly, and it's not sanitary. Yeah. Um, oh, sorry. You can go. Jinx. Um, but yeah, uh, the, this is all like very important stuff to bring up, and I'm glad that you um, are trying to like get a group together for that. Um, anytime th this safety and sort of that have, has been a big concern for what um, me and Dylan kind of want to get done in SGA this year. Um, so I very much uh, encourage this. There's a lot uh, we can talk after. Um, any, anybody who's interested in joining something like this. Um, we can meet in the office after this. I have some information that for preliminary work we've done for stuff like that. Um, something that I know that I um, brought up in Student Innovation Committee last year was potentially creating some sort of group to like help walk people to and from places around campus or around downtown. Um, we were working on ways to sort of to figure out how to make something like that function. Um, so that and anything else you guys want to work on with that, um, we, we can definitely talk about. Um, uh, just one second. Um, I know you guys were telling me like before, like before we were, got to this meeting, but they were also looking to make it like more of not just a like food group, mm -hmm. but making it more of like a broad like uh, more structurally built group because of how big and how overlapping all of these issues are. Mm -hmm. um, uh, yeah. yeah, I was gonna say something along those same lines of like, I feel like that has a lot of overlap with the potential Cullen Art group that we were talking about making, and I think that maybe this deserves a larger conversation about like, just in general, like health and safety on campus. And I just wanted to bring up uh, really quick that for my anon anonymous source for my article, um, the article, nothing would have gotten done if that one person didn't say anything, and it is overlapping because their main focus, um, the main thing they wanted to accomplish was like the dining hall, but they also brought up um, Thayer's communal bathrooms and just the buildings not being up to date and just so many other issues that need discussed. Yeah. I'm just a little nervous about how much it seems like this committee wants to bite off and how practical that would be, and so I think probably having a larger conversation about what the priorities are and what how we want to tackle all of them is probably a really good idea. Um, yeah. um, something I would suggest um, and something that I wanted to us to work on anyway is now that we're getting more into our committees, now that we have more of our shared forms um, for everyone to share, I think we should create some, or do you all have access to that Google Drive? Drive. Uh, I did not send it, but I will write after Perfect. this meeting. Awesome. Um, I'm sure Robert will talk about that in his thing, but we are, we are getting a shared Google Drive. Um, I would like to make some folders about the specific issues that you all wish to talk about. We can get compile what um, evidence you have of that, and we also can work on creating a list of priorities for how to do, for how we're going to start handling these things. Um, yeah. This falls under the same realm. Uh, Jill and I have been working on um, issues regarding public safety, especially after an incident that um, I had to deal with on Friday regarding a student um, that I didn't know in a very unsafe situation. Public safety took over 30 minutes to get there um, after I disclosed like part of the medical thing going on took them 30 minutes to get there, and they did nothing but instigate, in a way, um, the student and put everybody in an unsafe position. Um, I'm not saying that it's entirely their responsibility or their fault, but it was 
it put everybody there in a very bad place. Um, and we know that there's a very long history of public safety being um, doing more harm than good, um, not being receptive, not being um, trained relating to DEI, like comments regarding gender, pronouns, things like that, um, making fun of people for having feminine names when they're men, things like that. Um, so if anybody has incidents with public safety that they feel aren't um, to the perfect standard of, you know, our alleged like award-winning um, public safety, if you don't feel that they live up to that, uh, please reach out to me and tell me any incidents you have. If you have friends, tell them to reach out to me. It's, um, my email is gldixon at Flint Park because I know that I am not the only person that this has happened to, and I do want to work on that and see what we can do. So that falls under DEI and safety. Do we have any more discussion? Uh, comments for this open floor? On that note, I think we'll be taking it to the reports of the executive cabinet, starting with McLaughlin, president. That's me. All right, hi everybody. Um, yeah, so, um, this week has been uh, kind of crazy for me, but uh, yeah, I a lot of it I feel like will be brought up in by other people's sections. Um, Megan, I know, will be very speaking. I'm sure we'll be speaking about some of the issues with the Colon Art Committee we're trying to get formed. Um, I'm sure we've all seen the article. Um, so I, we already as we've already spoken about, um, I am working on getting us a pretty. Um, as soon as possible meeting with Christy Weiss, the head of Colin Art. Um, I want to have her in to a legislative body meeting, but um, for first, as a preliminary meeting, we are trying to set up a time to meet her outside of the legislative body. Anybody who has shown interest in being involved with Colin Art issues, um, we will make sure you guys have the opportunity to be there, ask the questions you want to ask. Um, we, it'll probably be a little more led by our executive cabinet, but that does not mean that any of you are not more than welcome to be involved as little or as much as you'd like in uh, the room when this happens. I will reach out to all of you to let you know when that is finalized. We're working on some time this week um, because, uh, yeah, there, there's, a lot, there's a lot happening right now. Um, I also <laughs> want to... Uh, use this to shout out um, the Pioneer Career Readiness Center, who is so gracious to use this space. Uh, Dean Jolin wanted me to let everybody know that there is um, a networking event, uh, preferably for seniors and recent grads with the Pittsburgh Young Professionals uh, Asso Association. Um, there are a bunch of different, uh, it's networking opportunities for a bunch of people in the different career fields. Um, there, It's happening tomorrow night. Uh, they're having a presentation at five, and then a following that there's a mixer, there's gonna be free food and a cash bar. So definitely show up. Uh, I'm on the 9th uh, at the Monroe Convention Center. There is a uh, career, another separate career fair that uh, he recommended me to let you all know is gonna be happening, which I also have a QR code for that. And then on the 16th, there were for all of you communications, uh, broadcasting, SNEM majors, um, and then other people in similar fields. There is a career fair happening right outside there uh, at, from 1.30 to 3.30 on Wednesday, October 16th. So just wanted to let you all know that that was happening. Um, I'm sure I will find an excuse to, to talk your guys' ear off more by the end of this presentation, but I'm going to move on. All right, thank you. Vice President Peterson did not, yeah. Uh, sorry. He gave me his report, so uh, I'll just share that. Uh, hey, y'all, sorry, sorry for not being able to be there as I'm feeling under the weather. As for my report, the main thing is that I sent out committee appointments via email last night. Unfortunately, because of some size changes in LegBod, I had to rearrange some members, but I did my best to honor your preferences. Please feel free to attend any and all other committee meetings, but the one I assign to you will be mandatory. You will, if you have not already been contacted, be you will have you will, if you have not already, be contacted by the head of your respective committees about organizing times for meetings. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns, please email me. Additionally, there are vice chair positions open for a couple of our committees as well. 
These positions will grant you a $50 stipend at the end of each semester and will add an additional weekly office hour to your current schedule. Please let the head of your committee, myself, and President McLaughlin know if you're interested. Thanks. On that same topic, while uh, you all are finding your times to meet with your committees, I am also going to remind you all, Senator Trading will be happening. You will be getting, your, uh, you will be getting um, the times for that uh, this week. So if anybody hasn't filled out that scary one to me, fill it out. Uh, yeah, that's all. <laughs> Uh, Chief of Staff Grishinger, did they do anything? They did. Uh, Parliamentary Adams. Uh, nothing much new to report. We have a constitution to look at during new business, but that's pretty much it. Thank you. Uh, Diversity, Equity, Inclusion, Chair Williams. Um, <clears throat> mainly, um, I scheduled a, well, at this week's EEI committee meeting, we'll have Ideally, more student leaders to like voice or kind of share any like DEI concerns that they may have had or experienced, and then further planning the multicultural festival with all of their input. Thank you. Uh, reporting Secretary Steiner. Okay. So, as Kyle mentioned just a little bit ago, we're in the process of emailing the culinary directors and formulating a plan for a meeting and anyone's welcome to join in on that. I also created an info gather gathering form for that committee, but since Senator Pickett and Senator Pliska mentioned creating like a bigger committee with that as like a sub thing, I we could talk about that later, but other than that, that's about it. Thank you. Uh, Treasurer Geary? Um, so, uh, first things first, fall two funding opened this morning, so we already have, I think, four requests in last time I checked, so, great, so this one's going to be a little crazy, um, and I'll talk about, uh, the committee meetings and such during the committee report. Um, I met with, uh, Keisha Lalama, Kim Martin, Lindsay Lehman, um, and John Van Heese, as well as Communications Director Bradley this morning to discuss SGA involvement with promoting Fall Fest at the Playhouse. Um, I'll let Communications Director Bradley talk about most of what we talked about, but uh, we are looking to get a group of students together this weekend to help them dorm storm some materials for uh, Fall Fest. For anyone is, who isn't aware, um, the Playhouse is putting on a rather large carnival to help fundraise um, for the conservatory and for the Playhouse itself, uh, and they're looking to help get the word out a little bit more. So. If anyone is available, um, just come talk to me. We'll find a day and time that works best for everybody. Um, but the more hands, you know, the less time it takes. Um, aside from that, I also met with um, Dean Palo to wrap up the COPA recording rights issue that we discussed in previous weeks. And uh, during that time, we briefly talked about um, the parking issue, mainly the fact that currently uh, Pittsburgh Parking Authority's Wood Allies Garage doesn't accept Point Park housing contracts as a group of downtown housing, which gives you a significant discount for parking in the garage on a, a lease basis. So um, he is going to have a meeting with the executive director of uh, the parking authority and see if we can get that altered so that they accept housing contracts as a proof of housing and our students can get the discounted rate. That's it. Thank you. Communications Director Bradley. Hi everyone, thank you for coming today. Um, I have some notes with, from the meeting this morning that we had about Fall Fest. Um, so, basically what it's going to be, I'm sorry, you guys can't see me, um, but it's basically, so they're going to shut down all of Forbes, and they're going to be using the Playhouse to, you know, host, you know, the space. They're also going to be having a show specially done there that's, you know, that fo focuses on Fall Fest with their mascot, Boo. Um, they were looking for about around 23 people to volunteer, so I will send out a link to like when, if you want to volunteer for that this weekend. And they said that they'll be willing to give out a coffee and some sort of food reimbursement for that. Um, we need to help the Playhouse promote it. Um, it's free entry, but it is a fundraiser, so everything else, like the food trucks that they're going to be having and the bar if you're over 21, is going to be, you have to pay for it. Um, they're saying they want to do a commuter day for the 26th, and the happy hour starts at 4.30. And they have a, they just were looking forward to this to promote it and talk about it so that we can get the word out. I'm waiting to receive the marketing still from them, but once I do, I'll be promoting it on the socials and 
Yeah, and I'll talk more about uh, comms committee uh, during the committee report. Thank you. Yes. Uh, graphic design coordinator, Q, they leave any report? Uh, they have no report. Okay, thank you. And President Pro Tempo Quintero, me. Um, so, here, I got my uh, so what I did specifically, I still need to meet with Catherine, so I'm working on that. Um, but I made a senator's folder. So the exec cab, we have like our own uh, like folder, but there was no like formal folder for senators to like get access to any of the po like the previous um, reports or agendas or anything like that. Um, and so we fixed that, and I created one. I put all of the agendas and minutes in there uh, so far. Um, and then I, office ma I also made an office hours form. This is how you will be tracking and or logging your office hours. Um, so it's a simple form. You go in, you just fill out all the information you did for that week, and then just hit submit, and it'll go straight to me. Um, I also put the creative brief in there as well. If you don't know what that is, that is run, I believe, by Pew, right? Uh, right exactly. Yes. Pew? yes. Yeah. Um, and it's, if you have any ideas, for like say like an event coming up and you have like an idea of like you need like a graphic or something, you would fill out this form and then it would be sent to uh, the graphic design coordinator and they would make something. Um, there are like restrictions with that. Uh, give them, I believe what it was, 10 days um, of time minimum for creating this graphic. And then with the form right now, if you do decide to use it, let them know, send them a message because they don't get um, what's it called, notifications of when a form is completed, so they will have no idea if you did complete it unless you uh, let them know. Um, I also created an Excel sheet to track the committee meeting attendance and legislative body just to be even more organized. Um, and yeah, that's my report. And that's that, so we're going to be moving on to the reports of the standing committee, starting with rules committee. Um, well, now I have my uh, members, so... Um I've got uh, Senator Hayes, Senator Pickett, and Senator Wrangell. So I will be reaching out to the three of you about when everyone is available to let's meet. And then once we can establish um, a weekly meeting period, I will start catching you up on where I'm at right now in terms of my big project and where we go from there. So just be on the lookout for all of that. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, finance? So, um, like I mentioned, uh, it's finance week, so everyone who has been assigned to the finance committee, um, I'll send us out an email as well, but I'll be meeting tomorrow through uh, the 10th, which is Thursday, um, from 5 to 7 in the SGA office. If you can make it for a partial time, just let me know. If you can't make it at all, let me know. Um, the biggest day is the 10th, obviously, because that's the day after our funding closes. So, we can discuss more um, if needed, but uh, you're right, we'll also have funding uh, ready to get approved. Thank you. Uh, communication committee. So, um, thanks all for joining. Um, uh, we will be uh, we reaching out to get meeting times for all of you soon. Um, we'll have a weekly meeting uh, with me, Pew, and then uh, the rest of you guys. So yeah, and then we will discuss where we're at with posting, and we're backed up on content. We have so much content we need to get out, so I need help distributing that. But thank you. That's all. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, student in a committee, um, so that is me. I will be sending you guys um, a email um, explaining, further explaining student in a committee and then with a win to me so that we can create our, um, uh, what's it called, weekly meeting time um, and stuff like that. So uh, just be on the lookout. And then uh, DEI committee. Yeah. As Senator Dixon like, addressed earlier, we, we have been discussing like safety concerns as well as like DEI related concerns. Um, so anyone with those concerns is welcome to come to the meeting, committee meeting Friday at 2.30 p.m. I believe that's, that should be it. All right, thank you. That is all the reports of the standing committees. Now we're going to move on to reports of senators. So, do senators have anything they would like to report? No? Okay. We're going to be moving past that into the old business. I don't believe that there is any old business, so we're going to skip that and we're going to go to our new business. And in this, we just have one little thing, and Arden will explain it more. 
but it's the constitution of the Bigs. Yes. Um, so for those that are not aware, the fix is like a digital media magazine. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, so the fix is um, yeah, a digital media magazine. So different um, media majors basically collaborate for a big like end of the year um, magazine just to showcase work, whether that be um, uh, visual or whatnot. And so um, it, they're uh, revitalizing it uh, for this year. So wants to make a comeback, and I think that it's a great way for all the different media majors to collaborate in ways that they may not otherwise get a chance to. Um, so yeah. All right. Um, is there a, um, what's it called, approval, or a uh, motion? Motion, thank you. <laughs> is there a motion to approve uh, the fix constitution? Senator Mendoza. Is there a second? Senator Dixon, is there any discussion? Anything you guys want to talk about? All right, we're going to take it to a vote. Uh, so all of those in favor, raise your hand. All right, all of those um, opposed? Any um, abstentions? Yeah. All right, so 13 to 0. It is passed. Out of curiosity, who is the president of that? Uh, Cat. Okay. Uh, yeah, Cat. Contrails. Contrails. All right, we're now going to be moving into our second open floor. So does anyone have anything for our second open floor? I'll talk again. Oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, so yeah, this is something that when, now that you're all in your individual committees, I think we'll work on going to individual committee meetings to talk about how we can delegate some of the plans we have. Um, but just to lay out some things we've been thinking of, um, I believe I brought up, but um, we want to have a zine fair um, to, to uh, and preferably I would like to have it in the uh, parking lot behind West Penn. Um, for those who don't know, zines are they're like they're like the little these little like handmade handmade like magazine like packet things, um, and they're they're very like punky and underground and people use it to like spread information about various things. Uh, I would like to work with some of the different groups around campus as well as some groups in our community. Um, the Body Autonomy Band is an organization that uh, I have connections with uh, that. Um, provide like reproductive health, um, both supplies and like information. I uh, would like It's On Us to be there, um, various other organizations around our community. Um, I think it would just be a cool way to get, um, get a chance to like get some uh, civic engagement, get some people's knowledge up. And by have, I want to have it behind West Penn because I don't, as I think I've mentioned before, there's the, not both the new community garden and that little like it's the smoking spot, but it's like it's one of the few community spaces we have on campus because uh, we're a pretty small campus. And I'd like to like build that up as a place that people go to more. So uh, I'll have more information as we start to like iron that out. But um, just wanted to put that all on your radar. Yeah. Thank you. Um, and just to kind of like piggyback off of that, I will be helping with that student and a committee. Obviously, will be helping to promote that and or just help plan it. Um, so anyone who is interested and or already involved, that is something that we will be tackling. Um, but yeah, is there anything else we would like to share for our second and final open floor? No? Alrighty. Any announcements? A photo today? Um, not. I was going to say, anything. we put this last night and then Billy was still sick this morning. So, um... And we actually have a lot fewer senators than when we started trying to get the, the picture, so it's going to be more accurate. I'm going to do another, okay, this is something I wanted to, I'm, just, uh, I'm making it, I'm going to use my soapbox to make people know about things that are happening in the world. This is a little, it's, um, I was talking to somebody else about this last night, um, so do you know the, f 
for, this is not related to student government. I hope you all know this before I say this. Um, so you know the phrase, the sun never sets on the British Empire? Yes. It's, a, yes. it's a saying because um, for like 200 years, Britain has had colonies on every on enough parts of the world that like the sun, set, the sun never sets on something they own. But the UK is finally giving up one of their territory, one of their colonies in the Indian Ocean. So, once that's done, for the first time in 200 years, the sun will literally set on the British Empire. Hell and I yeah. think that's really cool. So, of course, you ought to know that fun fact. <laughs> to the other oh, one part. Okay. Thank you. Once you <laughs> care, <laughs> I'll put it on our progress report. Uh, <laughs> this is just like a, a general thing. I know you all have probably been bombarded, but um, you have 14 days to register to vote. If you have not registered to vote, um, that, that ends on October 21st. So please make sure you're registered. Make sure you know where you can go vote. This election fucking matters, y'all. <laughs> It's going to be close. Why? I don't know, but it's going to be. And, so, and like it matters that our demographic votes yes. specifically, too. This entire election is riding on the Gen Z vote. So just, you have 14 days. Yeah, Please make sure you're registered and make a plan to vote on November. We're 100% we like qualified to vote. What? We have There's so many Gen Z's on the things you can scan, so you, you don't know, actually have to do anything. Do you just scan the little thing and it's put in your information, and you just vote. It's, 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 it's so easy because they'll send you a piece of paper that says, "Yo, fill this out, and you can do it online." Yes. Yes. Well, mail, I guess, would be more accurate. Yeah. Just make sure you have a plan for November. Yes. October 29th is the last day to request a mail ballot. What is it? And you have no excuses because President McLaughlin does voter registration on campus. I will hunt you down. <laughs> <laughs> it's October 29th, by the way. Okay. I'll you spoken third person. <laughs> Do you know where the closest polling station is? The closest polling station. It's like five minutes away from here. I it looked is, it up. It's the Human oh. Resources Building it's right behind Field, yeah, right behind Boulevard. It's like five minutes. If you've ever walked to the back of the student center, if you've ever walked back there, it's literally that part. Their apartment is right behind the admissions hall. It's right behind the students. It's much easier. No, you have to. You have to. Where do you have to? I have to go to the class. So it's not that bad. Like, I'm done. We'll discuss this after. Just make sure you have a plan. That's it. Why did you say it's on the All right. Are there any more announcements for today? All right. On that note, our next legislative body meeting will be October 14th. And with that, our meeting is adjourned. Yeah.